Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to show you how to make an SIO to USB cable without any soldering and it will cost you about $6. This is an SIO to USB cable that on one side it connects to the PC or Mac computer USB port and on the other side it connects to the Atari SIO port. And using a free software that you can download from the internet you can use this cable to upload files to the Atari computer without the need of using a disk drive or a tape drive. So let's go and see how you can make such a cable. This is what you need to make the cable. You will need an Atari SIO cable. This is a standard Atari SIO cable that comes with every disk drive or a tape drive. You would need a serial to USB cable and this could be purchased from eBay for about $6 and I will provide a link at the video notes where you can get one. You need a cable stripper, a small cutter and an electrical tape. These are all that you need to make the cable. So let's go ahead and make it. First we're going to take the SIO cable and we're going to cut it in a half way to reveal the wires that are inside. I already cut a cable earlier so I can show you what you have inside. Inside the cable there are many wires but we only need to use three wires. We need to use the black wire, the green wire and the orange wire. So we're going to take these, these uh, wires. We can cut the all the other wires because we don't need them and they're just they're going to be on the way and we're going to get those three wires that we need the black the green and the orange and using a cable stripper we can reveal about half an inch of the threads metal threads inside and we're going to twist them so we're going to twist them until they are straight into a one one wire one thread USB to serial cable and we're going to connect as following we're going to take the black wire from the USB to serial cable and connect it to the black wire of the Atari SIO cable so we're going to just to push the black wire into the socket here once it's done we can just take a small electrical tape and secure them together. Just so they will be safe attached. Next, we're going to take the Atari green cable right here, the Atari green cable, and we're going to connect it to the USB to serial white wire. We're going to take the green wire and we're going to connect it to the white wire here. Once it's all the way inside, take another electrical tape and just secure them together. And once you've done that, just go to the last wire, which is the Atari orange cable and the Atari orange cable goes to the USB to serial green wire. So we're going to take the green wire of the, of the USB to serial cable and insert the orange Atari SIO wire inside it. And we can take another small electrical tape and just secure them together. When you finish, you can just take another electrical tape and just cover everything for extra safety. Um, yeah, if you have some skills with soldering, you can solder this wire together, but you don't have to. You can, can put some more electrical, electrical tape to make it even safer and just secure everything so you won't pull, be pulled out very easily. That's it. We made our cable. We can just go ahead and connect it to the PC computer and let's show you how you can uh, 
make it work, make it work when it's connected to that to the PC computer. We are going to plug the USB end of the SIO to USB cable that we made into the PC computer. You will hear a noise that the new hardware was detected and it automatically will install the driver of the device into the operating system. Next, we will go into the control panel, into the device manager. We're going to expand where it says ports and we see that the USB hardware was detected at COM port number 11. This is very important to remember. Any computer, different computer with a different operating system may detect it on a different COM port number. So you just have to go to your device manager and see the COM port number that the USB was detected at. Just remember this. In, the, in our case, it's COM port 11. Next, just open a browser and we're going to go into GitHub free repository at HTTPS github.com jz atarski slash respect releases we're going to download the latest release i'm going to download with respect release number three just going to get the zip file click open and it's going to take about a minute or so to download from the uh, repository and when it's finished we can just open the file just wait another 15 seconds for the download process to complete can just copy the whole folder into our desktop. Just copy and paste it here. So let's copy everything. So when it's done, we have a folder that's called respect this is the version 3 and we're going to double click it and we're going to execute the respect software the respect.exe file and we can see that the this is the software and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to tools options and we want to make sure that the com port is the same number that our hardware was detected. So if, for example, this would say here number eight, we're gonna change it to number 11 because this is where our hardware exists. And you're gonna click save. Next, we can download ATR files from various of archives, Atari archives on the internet. And we're gonna mount, we're just gonna browse here for the Atari dealer demo, click open and we're gonna mount the ATR file on disk drive number one. We have eight more disk drive here that we can mount more ATR files if we need so. But just for now, we're going to mount the Atari dealer software, which is a demo on drive number one. And uh, let's connect the other side to the Atari and boot the Atari computer and see what we got. We'll connect the other side of the SIO to USB cable that we made into the Atari SIO port. The port is on the back of the Atari computer. We connected power and monitor to the Atari computer. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the option key and switch on the Atari computer. 
you've noticed that the Atari is now booting, booting the ATR file to the SIO to USB cable that we made from the respect software and the software shows actually the sector number that the ATR file is being going through. So it's like same sound that we're gonna boot from a disk drive. And we have now just booted a software off our PC computer without the need of using a disk drive or a tape drive. This is the simplest and cheapest way to download and to run real ATR files on a real Atari computer using a simple cable that you make for just a few dollars. Well, next I'm going to show you how you can load a multiple executable file, Atari executable files, using the Respect software. So if you downloaded an Atari executable files, this could be COM files, EXE files, or XEX files, this is actually an Atari executable files. You can put them all in just one folder, just copy them into a folder, I'm calling this folder Atari files on my desktop. And you just need to go, go to the respect folder that you downloaded earlier. Inside it, you will find another folder called boot PIC. And just copy these two files from that folder into the Atari files folder. This is the folder that has all the Atari executable files. Just going, just going to copy and paste the file picodos.sys and the boot.bin files into the same folder. Next, I'm going to go to the respect software and I'm going to mount not an ATR file, but I'm going to mount an, an, an entire folder into drive one go to my desktop and I'm going to mount the Atari files folder that has all the Atari executable files plus those two extra files that I copied there. And just mounted that as drive one. Now let's boot the Atari computer and see what happens when we are booting an entire folder that has the Atari executable files and this extra two file that I copied there just now. We are going to boot now the Atari computer. And the Atari computer will boot the PicoDOS file that we put in, into the same folder and it will show us all the Atari executable files that are inside our PC folder. With the arrows we can just select a file that we want to load push enter and it will automatically load the Atari file from our PC using the respect software. That's all. That's all for this video. This is how you can mount and load ATR files and Atari executable files that you can download from different archives on the internet and play them on a real Atari. I hope you do enjoy this video and thank you for watching.